Welcome to the Department of Commerce's Bonds Online e-transaction system. Your real estate agency now uses the e-transaction system to lodge, vary and dispose bonds at any time in a fast, easy and secure environment similar to online banking. This means that you no longer need to sign paper forms and it will be faster for you to get your bond money back at the end of the tenancy. This short video will take you through the process of what you need to do as a tenant. Once your real estate agent has entered your bond information into the system, an email will be sent to the email address you provided, asking you that you review and approve the lodgement transaction. As a tenant, this is your chance to check that your agent has your correct details and to set yourself up for a faster disposal. You will need to action the email as soon as possible, ideally within 48 hours. If you do not approve the e-transaction within the first 48 hours, the bond administrator will still accept your bond money from your agent. However, you will not be able to request a change to the details they entered and you will receive regular reminder emails and text messages until you do approve the transaction. The email you receive will look similar to this one. Once you have read the email, click the Here link which will open a web page in your browser. The web page will have a Request Code button that once pressed will send a security code to the mobile number that you provided. The code will only be active for 15 minutes before it expires, after which you can request a new code by repeating the same process. Once you have received the code, enter it into the space provided and click the Submit Code button. If you incorrectly enter the code three times, you will be locked out of the system for one hour before you are able to try again. A new web page will open that lists all the details of the bond. Once you have read through the information, you will have three options. Approve details, request change, or come back later. If you agree that all the details are correct, select the Approve Details button. A new section at the bottom of the page will appear, asking you to provide the last four digits of your bank account number. This step is not mandatory, however it is an extra security measure and will help speed up the process of getting your money back at the end of the tenancy. Once finished, select the Approve Details button again. A pop-up box will open, asking you to confirm that you want to approve the e-transaction. Select Yes. Another page will open indicating that the details have been successfully submitted to the bond administrator for approval. You will receive a final confirmation email once all tenants have approved the details of the lodgement. You will also be sent a record of payment once your bond money has been paid by your agent and lodgement of the bond is completed. Approving the details of a bond disposal. Once your tenancy has been finalised, your real estate agent will enter the details of your bond disposal into the e-transaction system. After your agent has completed their final payment approval, an email will be sent to the email address you provided asking you to approve the disposal details. You should action this email as soon as possible, as your bond funds can't be released until all parties have approved the transaction. Once you have read the email, click the Here link which will open a web page in your web browser. The web page will have a request code button that once pressed will send a security code to the mobile phone number you provided. The code will only be active for 15 minutes before it expires, after which you can request a new code by repeating the same process. Once you have received the code, enter it into the space provided and click the Submit Code button. If you incorrectly enter the code three times, you will be locked out of the system for one hour before you are able to try again. A new web page will open with the details of the bond, including payment allocation. Once you have read through the information, you will have three options. Approve details, request change, or come back later. For a disposal to proceed, all parties must approve the transaction details. If agreement cannot be reached and the disposal is not approved by all parties within 28 days, it will lapse. If this occurs, all parties will be sent an email advising that the disposal request has lapsed and your agent will need to start the process again. If the parties cannot come to an agreement about how to dispose of the bond, you may need to apply to the Magistrates Court or in the case of a residential park bond, the State Administrative Tribunal for a decision. 
If you agree that all details are correct, select the Approve Details button. A new section at the bottom of the page will appear, requesting your bank account details and your new forwarding address. Ensure that your bank details are correct, as incorrect details could result in your payment being delayed or lost. Once you are happy with the details you entered, select the Approve Details button again. A pop-up box will open, asking you to confirm that you want to approve the e-transaction. Select Yes. Another page will open, indicating that the details have been successfully submitted to the bond administrator for approval. Once all tenants have approved the disposal, you will receive an email advising that the transaction has been sent to the bonds administrator for processing. If your mobile phone number and email address match those provided during your lodgement transaction, the disposal will be completed automatically and an EFT payment will be sent to your bank account. For more information about the Bonds Online e-transaction system, visit www.commerce.wa.gov.au forward slash bonds online.